Alexandra and welcome to my studio. Well, I'm wearing the design cowl that I'm publishing this weekend. It's actually uh, my rethinking of a pattern that I published a year ago for Valentine's Day of 2014. And what happened is um, I didn't have uh, the original uh, sample that I usually keep all my original samples, but for this pattern I didn't have one. And I wanted to do something um, using my own pattern for this Valentine's Day. And I'm like, okay, this is simple. I have the yarn. Um, I'm just ready to make it. So what happened is that during this year, um, my style of knitting changed and I become more looser knitter than I used to be. Um, because before I used to knit super tight, I guess I wasn't even aware of it. And, um, now my style changed and, um, I had a really hard time meeting my own gauge. So, uh, I ended up with something bigger than, you know, and it was, it wasn't just, it wasn't right. It was kind of like coming up right here and it was just too big and, um, too loose. So, okay. I thought, all right, um, I have to rethink the pattern because I'm sure there is a lot of people who uh, are not tight knitters and I have to adjust um, to them so and just made my life easier so while I was uh, making this sample I took some notes and I'm just publishing this re re kind of redesigned my original design so the name of original pattern was 44 hearts and this one called 30 hearts and the reason why is because the whole call is made out of, um, you know, knit and purl stitch. And you can see the hearts right there. So it's a quite a few rows of um, hearts. And if you count all of them, an original pattern was 44 hearts. So that's why the name, I thought it was a cool number and um, it would be a great name for a pattern, 44 hearts. But because I'm changing the gauge and I had to use um, less amount of stitches, to cast on so it would be total amount of 30 hearts here so that's where the name of it coming from so what you need for this pattern is uh, worsted yarn about 250 yards and i used one of my favorites and i'm sorry it's gonna show in reverse but it's fisherman wool um it comes in a giant giant skein and here is uh, 465 yards so I always keep it in the house because um, I always have a project um, to use for this specific yarn. And I love the color. Th this color is oatmeal. This is my favorite one in this yarn. And um, you will need about uh, two yards of a contrast uh, yarn. And um, in my original pattern, I used um, pink um, contrast yarn. And this year I picked this because I'm just really attracted to this color lately. Um, but I saw people making this a green or black or red, everything would, everything goes with this one. So, or, you know, you can use any kind of uh, color combination you want. So 250 of main um, um, yarn and two yards of contrast. So you will need the circle needles of size six place marker and um, tapestry needle for embroidery because this heart is not knitted it's um dupl i use duplicate stitch to embroider with a contrast on the top so what i recommend doing is uh, finish the whole cowl and it will take you really about maybe two evenings um finish it block it and after that just pick any of those existing Parts. pick any of them on any row and just duplicate stitch embroider on top of it so that's how it looks on the back and your cowl is done so it's about eight inches um, wide and when you put it on it's really just kind of styles itself you know you just drop it and you don't have to do anything about it so very simple very fast project um it's a free pattern so you're not losing anything if you are very tight knitter use my previous one from a year ago it's called 44 hearts and also i have um, a video tutorial on my youtube channel 
for duplicate stitch, but it's called um, Fox Cup Cozy Duplicate Stitch Tutorial. So, but it's the same technique. So you can just, if you're not familiar with it, it's very easy and um, you can watch my video and see it. So, well, here's my new pattern. It's available on all my uh, stores. I sign up for my channel and um, I'm really exciting, excited to show you new patterns that come coming up but um, it needs a little bit of more polishing but um, I have quite a lineup amount of design that I'm um, ready to be published uh, soon so um, I'm excited about that and um, thank you so much and I'll see you soon bye